The notorious Aidar Nationalist Battalion, an assault group of the Ukrainian ground forces, was stationed here. They turned this former sausage production facility into their base. You can see it's very well fortified. And I say notorious because Amnesty International and the OSC repeatedly reported numerous human rights violations by the members of this group. And UN has reported dozens of criminal investigations into their activities with charges including abduction, kidnapping, brutal behavior, sexual violence. And these people were Kiev's official representatives on the ground. We are the first journalists entering this base. This place looks like a real fortress, but Idar didn't have a chance to test it. They'd left the base before the Lugansk Republic Army got even close to the town. This is where IDAR members were sleeping, and we can see it's burned here. We were told that this is what they did while leaving, not to leave behind any proof of their activity. And we cannot go any further because we were told again that it could be mined. And again, we are the first journalists working on the ground, so this area was not cleared yet. Wow, that is a very heavy door. We enter the main building on the territory. This is where sausages were manufactured before IDAR occupied this place back in 2014. It's clear it had nothing to do with meat production. In what used to be a big smoking department for the meat to be dried and cured, there is a bale of hay and some dirty clothes in the rooms a floor below that could be seen through a metal grid in the floor. A number of local officials believe IDAR members used it as their secret prison. There are many videos that appear to show IDAR members being trained by instructors from NATO countries. And here is more data pointing at the group's possible connections with the West. This is what was found, among other things, here at the IDAR battalion base. A very interesting piece of literature titled Tutorial for Participants of Russian-Ukrainian War. It was published in 2021. It actually says that it was republished last year, so apparently there was previous version of this book. Ukraine's defense ministry is among publishers, but here we see something more interesting, National Endowment for democracy, America's non-governmental organization allegedly affiliated with CIA. And here's a piece of uniform, it's a NATO one, Ukraine's armed forces, Ukrainian flag here, with several awards for participating in counter-terror operation. This is what Kiev launched back in 2014 against then the country's easternmost regions of Donetsk and Lugansk. This one, war veteran. This one for liberating Lugansk region. The IDAR battalion is famous for glorifying neo-Nazi ideas and wearing Nazi symbols. Locals complain they were terrorized by members of this group. Well, those brave enough who have spoken out, most still are afraid and prefer to keep silent. We found one resident willing to speak, but it still took some time to convince her. Nina Mihailovna lives next door to Aidar Battalion member. Actually, they share this backyard. Before, she complained about her neighbor and we came to talk to her. We want to hear her story about why she was not happy. Nina's neighbor wasn't home. His door is broken. And even though IDAR members left this town, their story here is far from over. IDAR is banned in Russia like the Taliban or ISIS. Ironically, official Kiev has never denied their criminal activity. The country's legal authorities have documented over 30 crimes committed by this group. But what's interesting, 
no case was ever opened. And this is something the officials from the Lugansk Republic say they are going to immediately do as soon as this area is cleared from mines and they are able to come to the thing to investigate. Marie Fenoshna, RT, exclusively from the base of Haidar Battalion.